Hickok 45 here with my 4570. Not really, right? This is an M16 A1 Johns, and we're going to try it on range two. All right. And if you're not familiar with the M16 A1, this was kind of the culmination of all the early developments and improvements of of the M16. And a lot of history there, right? And uh, you might have first talk about it. Yeah, you see, you've got uh, like the the bird cage. Uh, flash suppressor in the bottom, you know, the openings in the bottom, which you do not have on the A2, just different things like that. This is the, uh, the 9 million series, 9 million serial number. It was made in 84, so it was one of the later ones, very later. And But it is uh, M16A1. Got the Vietnam era sling John's got on it. And just a really nice rifle, okay? Would probably uh, be suitable for, you know, some military to adopt it, I would guess. But anyway, I thought I'd try it long range, or you know, this this range, whatever this is. For some people, it's not long. Some people, it's really long, right? <laughs> it depends on who you are and whether you can shoot. And if you can shoot better than I can, which is most of you probably, this is short range. Let's put some bullets in and just try it, okay? I got the light playing with me over there. I think I can see the targets. Now, uh, whether I can see the sights on the target might be another matter. All right, either way, we'll have some fun. Or I will. I <laughs> hope you do too. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna relax, take my time. Just because I have semi-auto capability doesn't mean I need to shoot fast, does it? You make sure I don't shoot too fast. So we start on the red plate, the big red plate. If I can hit it, wow. I got the sun messing with me right here. I'm gonna have to step into the shade. It's coming across my eyeball. There we go, that's better. Good thing I'm not in combat. I'd have to say, hold up guys, don't shoot. I can't see the sights. All right. All right, I think I can see them well enough to at least shoot at them. I think I'll start on the right over there, that horizontal baby. Yeah, they got him. What a miracle. I'll be darn. Let's see. I think I have one or two left. I think I see it up there. Actually, I'm having a hard time. It's right to the left of the red plate. You all probably see it just fine, but uh, let me try the one on the far left. I can see it a little bit better. Yeah. All right, I can see it, but when I go through the sights, it's not as easy to see. Yeah, well, I may come back to him. All right. Let's try these uh, two liter down here. I can see it. Yeah, that cinder block piece. <laughs> the red plate. All right, that was the last shot. Oh, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm going to go back up there and put a few more on that one. You won't think less of me, will you, if I leave it? <laughs> I'll promise not to cry if you don't. Okay. Okay, when I'm just looking, I can see it. I know it's really small, uh, but when I get the uh, to looking through the peephole up here, it, it kind of disappears on me. Oh, uh, <laughs> maybe it's not even a target. Okay, let's just... Uh, Let's put in a fresh mag. No, I'll tell you what let's do. I'm gonna end by hitting the red plate up there. That's just how we do it. All right. Now I'm gonna put a fresh magazine in because uh, I know these three, three two liters look like they're pretty close, but they're really not. So I might need 20 rounds on them. All right, let's see if we can hit them. Wow. 
we're empty. Like I said, I might need some more ammo. If you shoot like that, you do, don't you? So anyway, uh, I apologize if I left the target over there. I feel really lame. I know it's just not very uh, manly of me to leave a target standing, but I, I just can't see that little rascal through the, through the sight well enough. Uh, I threw enough lead at him, okay? You know what? He deserves to live, you know? I mean, you get to a point where that target deserves not to be hit, not to be disturbed today, you know? I gotta remember that, okay? From when I get into a missing streak in the future, just let them go. Maybe we ought to set a limit. 10 rounds, if you survive 10 rounds flying past your ears and your head, <laughs> you deserve not to be struck that day, don't you agree? So anyway, yeah, the M16, uh, appreciate John allowing me to, uh, to use it today to, uh, to play over here and shoot at those targets, miss some of those targets, miss one of those targets at least because uh, it's a really, really nice rifle and very fortunate to be able to, to shoot something, you know, like this, this iconic, uh, you know, with, with history, you know, maybe this specific one, again, made in 84, but the M16A1 has a lot of history, in case you didn't know it, all right? So uh, glad you come by. We appreciate your support and uh, supporting the people that, that help us out. So take care and have a great day. Life